uh, hitting them in the pocket is one of the best things to do 100% real xenomorph to say that that's why one of the one of the ways who was it that said uh, who was asking uh, Ryan MC on sensor tool was asking how do we resist you want an example of what the best way to resist this and real xenomorph was saying hit him in the pocket is one of the best ways to do this right and you can take an example right to know how uh, how powerful tool it is to hit them in their pocketbooks take the bds movement boycott divestment sanctions movement that palestinians grassroots palestinian organizations people resistors came up with in the mid 2000s to resist occupation of israel and israel murdering genociding gazans and palestinians right they came up with a peaceful means to resist israel's genocide right to res resist israel's occupation or atrocities right they came up with sanctions they said you know what if you oppose what israel is doing to palestinians right ethnically cleansing the region committing genocide uh occupying a nation uh, blockading a nation divest from anything that is from the uh any israeli companies that are producing products on occupied territory they didn't even say boycott companies from tel aviv that only have factories and offices in tel aviv they said boycott israeli companies or and any company in the world that has factories has offices on occupied palestinian land right what did the western world do they came out and they called that violence because that's how scared they were of it the united states of america the federal government and most of the states you have to sign a contract if you're going to work for them to say that not, you're not going to boycott israel that's how powerful boycotting corporations and con countries and institutions that are doing horrendous acts in the world is right they consider that violence i don't consider it violence but they're scared shitless of it right why because their first order of business even before their own people is shareholder value right wall street model okay so one of the best ways you can resist when you pick up something read the back find out where it's from is from israel put it fuck down right read it is it from israel put it down i ain't supporting nothing from israel right if there's any other country you want to boycott boycott it that's one of the best ways you can resist if you're if you if you're of the mindset putin bad right boycott russia if you want well western nations were boycotting russian children in canada they prevented a 10 11 12 year old russian concert pianist from performing in toronto i think right that's how fucking low iq the canadian government and canadian people were they were boycotting children for fuck's sakes right but it's their right let them do it i disagree with it i rather boycott nations that are committing genocide right the most horrendous genocide in history they're making what Israel is doing in Gaza makes what the young Turks, the genocide that the young Turks committed on Armenians in World War I and pre-World War I, and what the Nazis did to the Jews and the Romas and the Poles and the communists and the socialists and, and the gays, the LGBT community, it makes them look like Girl Scouts, right? They're rolling in their graves looking at what Zionist Israel is doing to Gaza and going, damn, we weren't able to do that, right? Boycott nations and peoples that commit atrocities. That's a good way of resisting. That's a good way of resisting.